Hello dear history lovers, so here we have a new video, I'm going to show you something amazing in this video, of course the eastern part of the map, Far East, has played a great role in history. And also today, uh, most of our goods come from there. Japan, China, Korea, these are great countries. So here we have this mod for Imperator Rome. Ancient China, which is Chu here, and then we have all this uh, map added to the Imperator Rome. Of course, Rome is on the other side of the world. Here we have... Bharat or India as foreigners call it thanks to Iranians and then here we have Japan as well Korea so this amazing mod is made and we're going to uh, play this mod and then use the converter from Paradox Game Converters to convert this game into Crusader Kings 3 and here we have the mod Asia expansion projects and if you come here uh, let me show you how to actually find this so here you want to type Asia expansion and you can see here this one is outdated you don't need this one uh, the work has been moved to this one so you're going to get this one that has been updated on 8 October at 10 32 p.m. my time so there's a, a lot of notes about it and then it's going to continue in CK3 for a while and I'm going to show you the process of how to do it and I also want to see it uh, unfold and we see how it's going to unfold and the historical events and all. I'm going to play. It's going to be a great experience. They have added all of these parts of the map to the game and all this uh, Southeast Asia and it's, it's looking great here. So let's go to the Imperator Rome and run it with the mod. Of course, if you want to run the mod, you have to come to the launcher and come to the playset. I'm going to remove the extended mode. I am not sure if extended timeline works with this one. Uh, I'm going to put this always show Christian Gregorian mod dates. I, I don't think it's going to interfere with the Trindomita here at the bottom. It's 1.27 gigabytes uh, of a space and this one is just 139 kilobytes. I don't think there's going to be any conflicts between these two modes and just press play. So here we have the map, uh, Queen, yes, uh, or Queen, I'm not sure, I don't speak Chinese very well. I mean, I know a few words on this. So here we have Chu and seem, things look like Qui or I'm not sure. Here are Zhao. The religion is Shenik. Here we have Chu. The religion is Shenik. And this is Taiwan. Some parts of it is. All parts of it is populated. So here we have a tribe, federated tribe. I hear some parts of Philippines. Uh, mostly unpopulated. We have Malaysia here, Talangor is here, and then here we have Kota Gelangi, Pahang, Pahang I think is here, I'm not sure, Keda, these parts, we have Indonesia, some parts in Java, Barus, Pantai, Panay, and here we have Thailand, of course most of it is uh, dense forests, here we have Vietnam, Laos added to the map, here we have Myanmar added to the map, these regions, uh, this is south of China, this is Macau, I'm, sh I'm not very sure, and we have Japan of course, let's look at the tribes here, oh a lot of uh, interesting stars here, Toyo, Nazawa here. Some parts of Japan is unpopulated, of course. Room for expansion. The religion is Uchit. The culture is Deva. And we have Korea as well. Jinguk. Here we have some small countries. I think this Jinguk is going to wall up them all. A lot of also uh, interesting starts here. In South Europe, North Europe, Africa. Let's see what is in Africa. 
uh, added I think these parts are added I'm not very sure I don't think so though and India I have this stuff oh Persia amazing amazing Persis we have Persis here we have Parthia here I'm going to love this mod I'm not going to go to the vanilla at all Seleucid Empire is I think I'm gonna run run a game with uh, Seleucid Empire just looking at this part of the map for the time being to see if Persia will actually form because in all of my runs uh, normally AI cannot form uh, Parthia or in another word Persia. I know this Parthia is here but this Parthia is Hellenic. Uh, Seleucids are Hellenic and uh, these people are though they are they ha uh, heptatic when they they are the ones who reclaim Persia and create a, create a kingdom here called Parthia and eventually move to Sassanids later on that and the religion of these people is uh, at the moment if you look at the map is Mitraic oh it's very good Zoroastrians are here we have Ombanic I'm not sure of this one Chaldean Chaldonian Zoroastrian in these parts yeah. this is very good work uh, here we have Italic very good work. I'm I'm very impressed. I thought they just added this part of the map. This is very interesting. Let's see the cultures. We have Parthians here. We have Dahans here. Medians, Persians. Good work. Um, we have Regians here. Roman, Etruscan. Very good work. I, I really salute the people who made this map. I hope it works out well. Carthage owns this land. Um, going to come back to it at the end of the conversion. So I'm going to speed up and just record this part as an observer. So it's going to cover China. Uh, hello. Okay. At the year uh, when I'm going to convert around 400 or 500 AD, I'm going to convert the game. So here we have the other mod. It's 304 BC, so it's going to we're going to go around six to seven hundred years on this map.
So now is the year 559, it's 7 September. Let's see the word here. We have E, I think I'm not sure how to pronounce this. All these are uh, large provinces on the top. Of course, Earth is not flat, so they made it bigger provinces here. It's nice. They conquered the whole Korean Peninsula, but I think the people here are still. Uh, Mahan, I'm not sure uh, what's that. I'm not familiarized with this. So, Japan was Kiai, and here we have Jingugu, Jinguk, I, I'm not sure. But these are the Koreans, so they, haven't, they are still surviving. We have here Funan, here we have Malayans, Malayas here. Is a Pandian. Okay. So here we have them. Here we have Ander. Here we have Sifunan conquered these areas. I'm not sure how. I think maybe from the sea went there. Then we have this empire of the steppes, Armaspia. For a very long time, Ghi has taken over for a lot of land from them. But in the Middle East, we have Macedonian Empire in this area. Parthia still survives. Uh, let's see, they are Macedonian. Here we have Kush controlling these areas. I might have preferred to end it at 400, but then it's okay. Uh, we have Kush here. Some small countries here. I'm not sure some is Armenia is doing very well. It's really huge country here. And then we have Ectini. Here we have Romans. And let's Roman 100%. Here we have the Kingdom of Fezan. And surprise, Christianity pop up. And these areas are all Christians at the moment. Uh, some are here also Christians and Kemetics together. Here we have Anahitic. Uh, no Zoroastrians left. So no Zoroastrianism at the moment. And Christians have come far even into the steppes and uh, Tibet. That's a lot of advancement. So here we have Vera. I'm not sure. These areas are Hellenic still. These areas in UK is Druidic. And I must say about the map, it was very vibrant. Uh, I paused and come here and Persia was formed actually so it was it was a very very vibrant and beautiful map to look at it was amazing uh, great job done by the team it's an amazing mod anyway so we have saved this game Let me just show you so I have saved this game to mega campaign example again and then I'm going to Exit to desktop and convert it to the other mod. Asia expansion project is selected. And I'm going to leave everything as it is and then convert. I'm going to convert the save. Hopefully everything goes well. So here we have it. Play as any ruler in 559 or create your own. So we have all these parts of the map in this mod. Asia expansion and... We're going to play as any ruler in 559 and see how the map turned out. So here we have Qi and the rest, Funan. Uh, we have these parts uh, like the same, but there's no place in the map that is unpopulated. So everywhere is populated. And here we have the Roman Empire, we have Britannia, we have Neuria here. And we're going to see Najd here, Najd is Arabic. And everything seems fine. We have uh, India here, Iru, Borai, some names changed. Galestus here was something else there. 
Armenia is the same, Kush is the same, and these parts are added, of course. So that's all. Let's let's observe the map for a while and see how it's going to turn out. Everything. I don't think uh, there's going to be any Islams in here. Um, and let's let's run the map. I'm going to run it until uh, 6.20 and see if there is any Islam and that's it. Okay, I end the world as it is now. I was hoping to see Islam pop up here. Um, didn't. I just want to have a final word. I mean, like, uh, given the situation now in the world that we are facing. You know, of course, there's a lot of ideas about this religion. I'm a Persian. Of course, I love to see uh, some sort of Zoroastrianism in the world. Uh, I love to see my country thrive here, but the thing is, without that religion, there's something missing in the equation. So here we have the religious map, so we have this Arevordi here, and then some other religions and Orthodox here around the world. Uh, we have Coptic. This one is good. This mod is good. There are a lot of different religions. Uh, you don't see the whole world become one religion. And of course, uh, I would love to see other religions as well. But I don't see them here. And the reason I want to see more religions is not because I love or favor one religion. It's because wherever you leave people, according to the regions that they are, some... They develop factions. Like if you have 10 people, they become two factions, like five and five or four and six. Uh, people always have different interests and then they start to create their own stuff to challenge the other party. So for example, if are, everybody is orthodox in the world, it, it doesn't work like that. Uh, always there is a lot of other factions. There's a lot of counterfeit to everything. So there is no monopoly to religion in a sense in the world. And that's that's that has a reason. So I think if uh this kind of things doesn't happen in the world it makes it unrealistic. Uh that's my idea. So I wish to see like different religions popping up until the time that they can. Of course we have new religions like Baha'i or uh, there are a lot of other religions like Protestantism which are sects of uh different religions, but like Protestantism from uh, Christianity, Baha'i from uh, Islam branched out. So we always going to see these things in the world and I, and I love to see them. Uh, I don't say I'm disappointed 
that I don't see Islam pops up here, but in general, the reason I, I love to see the religion of peace is not because of I love the religion of peace. Uh, the thing is, I just want to see more a steering in the system. Like other things pop up, other challenges pop up, and I was trying to test and see if the uh, Islam pop up from this area. It didn't. Of course, when you see Mongol invasion from here, it adds a lot of flavor to the game. You have a game changer into the game, so I would love to see things like that. That's all. So, anyways, beside that, everything else is very beautiful, so you can see that China has buckled up and then made a lot of uh, new regions here. Um, the map is very vibrant. Things change on it. We don't have just bubbles coming up. India broke down and to uh, many countries. We have Bengal here. And Africa, this empire here broke down to many regions. I'm happy to see that the uh, religions in Africa are not just all Orthodox. And here we have Europe, which in it we had the Romans break down to different pieces. And this one also, even Britannia also broke down to many pieces. We have Ireland here. And Armenia is doing very strong. So in the past, they would say that if one person controls this region of the world, it's going to be an unrelating force at that time. Uh, now they are very, very good. They, they, they gained some land, they lost some land, but in general they are doing very well. They are in the center and I can say they are the biggest empire on the map at the moment. And emperor here is Manuel II. He is a sort of a Zoroastrian. Arevordic is a Zoroastrian faith. Yeah, that's it for the map. We have this beautiful checkboard of religions here in the world and let's go to cultures we have armenians a lot we have uh, sort of iranian cultures we have telugu here we have tamil here we have hans here we have two new cultures that weren't here before in here we have malay agalogs here in philippines so yeah i'm going to end it at 778 ad you can see of course the uh, map worked out very well. It's an amazing mod. Uh, you have a lot of fun playing this game, especially converting it, and you can further convert it into uh, Europa Universalis 4. Uh, from there, you can go to Victoria 2 or 3, and then after that, you can go to uh, continue this using the same converter. I'm really happy to see this is all working. Two mods are connected from two different games uh, by the Paradox Game Converter. Kudos to them and the ones who made the mod. It's an amazing experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video took me around one week to render because I also have uh, other duties in my life. Uh, it took me a lot of time and effort. So please give me a like and thumbs up. And if you are interested in this topic, I'm going to make more. I'm going to give you a lot of more content about this. So if you're interested in these things, just uh, please subscribe to my channel and that would help me greatly and encourage me to do even more about it. Thank you all for supporting the channel until now and until the next one.